This is Coriolis Effectment with a special investigational report. Investigative report, yes. Uh, Mrs. Coriolis Effectment has discovered that the secret to the Xylus Onion Chopper is different than what they tell us it is. Mrs. Coriolis Effectment, what was and is your discovery? My discovery is on the box they show a half onion just well, just sitting there, and I found that you have to slice that half onion into a couple more slices. Ah, uh, very... Ooh, what you were going to say? No, oh, that's what. Uh, very interesting, Mrs. Coriolis Effectman. <laughs> would, would, <laughs> would, this is serious business. Special right. investigative reports, you know. Yes, yes. Uh, we're writing a wrong here. Writing a wrong, and internet <laughs> marketing wrong. That's right. That's Yes, that's right. Yes. So, would you... Uh, <laughs> I will take... I will take the box... <laughs> If you would care, if you would care to demonstrate to the to the, what, what, why are you doing that? <laughs> if, if you would if you would demonstrate to the internet public how this is done and how you oh, mean, course, how you probably yes. do this, this is the okay. Xylus Onion Chopper, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. It, uh, what? Oh. Take away. Oh well. Thank you. Thank oh, you for yes, your demonstration. Yes. yes okay. Tell us and tell us in your own words what it is that you do. Yeah, well, strange, but I noticed on the box you've got this picture here. Well, and and also just here. hold hold it up to the camera, maybe a little closer. Okay, a little closer. Well, a little closer. You can see on the back here. It shows the two different cutting panels, but it also shows here a half onion shoved in there. You can't use it like that. And like, here's a better view of it here on the front. But this is what they show. They nowhere does it show, you know, cut, slicing it. I'll take the box from you, madam. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, we have our half onion here. I mean, our whole onion, I should say. So we'll cut that in half. Go and we'll put that away. For the moment aside, that is okay. Here we have our device, and we have two different panels. This is the fine one. That's the one I want to use today. This is a much coarser one. And okay, we'll put this back in here. All right. Is it difficult to uh, use and place into the uh, the the unit? No, no, not at all. So it's very easy to use? It's very easy. I don't know why they couldn't demonstrate on the box how to use it better. Well, first, wait a minute, why is I putting this aside? Okay, we'll take our half onion here, and what we're going to do is we're not going to put it on there like this, like it should, but I think they showed it like this. But actually, you want to go again across the grain, and first of all, we want to slim this down. We don't, I mean, if you try and do this, you wind up with... Well, I don't want to do that because it doesn't, you don't get cubes and it all gets meshed up in here. So, we'll start with, we'll cut it this way. So, from the end, there's one. So, put it in three slices. That seems to work optimally as far as I can tell. It seems to work nicely like that. Okay, this side. Okay. So we'll take our first slice here, and we'll put it this way, so that the, the top and bottom are running this direction, instead of the way they show it on the box. Now we just give it a good hard press, and you get that nice good sound, that nice chop sound. Look at that. Wow! That's what you get in Utterly there. Utterly amazing! Okay, we'll continue and we'll do the other parts here. got some loose bits, so we'll just add those on there. And again, you want it north to south that way. Wow! Utterly amazing! <laughs> it sure is. It does a very nice job. This is a great tool, but why they misrepresented on the box, I really... Now, if you could tell the ladies and gentlemen uh, in the internet world, why is it that you found that this was a useful product for you to have? What well, are the specific challenges that you face, well, madam? I'm legally blind, and I find that, well, I mean, there's the battle of seeing, but there's also the problem of the the onion, the fumes that come off the onion, they make my eyes water, and that makes seeing So you find that this, this device there. stops that, that, that irritation from the fumes? Well, it's not as, there are still fumes, but it's not near as bad as when you're hovered over, they're hunkered over the board trying to chop. And you know, you have, well, because of my sight, I have to be up close. And then, you know, you're right in among the fumes. That's very, 
very painful and this is very simple and fast because I mean I can't chop fast because I can't see well enough to do that okay so here's what we've got got some very nice little uniform cubes all the same size that's amazing <laughs> so there you have it ladies and gentlemen the correct way to use a xylus onion chopper oh and another interesting point is this little thing is designed for cleaning this stuff out because you get some bits caught, caught in here so, wow that. that's really amazing do it this way. Wow! Alright, so that cleans it out very nicely. Thank you once again, Mrs. Coriolis Effectman, for your time and trouble. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a Coriolis Effectman special report. Thank you. <laughs> Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>